what about the systemic risk of a pandemic? What a virus? There's something called the red coin hypothesis, and it's the idea that bacteria and viruses are the natural predators of humanity. We are locked in a red coin arms race accelerated by increasing population, urbanization, and travel. Nassim Talib. So the red queen hy- hypothesis is an evolutionary hypothesis which purports that organisms must constantly adapt, evolve, and proliferate in order to survive while pitted against ever-evolving opposing organisms in a constantly changing environment, as well as to gain reproductive advantage, which ties into the uh, actual selection. While there is a... And this is... While there is a very high probability for humanity surviving a single such event, over time, there is eventually zero probability of surviving repeated exposures to such events. That is by Nassim Talib, and I don't, he's an expert on probability. I am not. So I don't know, I can't question the veracity of that statement, okay? But let's assume he's correct, or even close to correct, which makes sense, that there, eventually there is going to be something that wipes out a species entirely. We've seen it time and time again with a a variety of different species. In fact, we've done onto other species. And so by that truth, if we are to believe that, which I think we are inclined to based on probability, history, etc., then we should take every situation like this, like the coronavirus, seriously. Because eventually eventually there is going to be a zero probability of surviving. So you might as well do everything you can to mitigate that. Because maybe there's a flaw in that and maybe we can mitigate it.